Hello guys, it's Steve. I'm pissed off right now. I'm in a pissed off mood right now. Uh, because me and Adrian were hanging out and then, you know, I wanted to go to the baseball field and play some baseball because I like baseball. It's a fun game and, you know, it's really fun playing baseball and, but, he didn't want to go because he was afraid to get his damn shoes all dirty and stuff. I guess he got new shoes or whatever, new white shoes and fresh out of the box. And he's like, I don't want to go to the baseball field because uh, I don't want to get my shoes dirty. It's fresh out of the box. They're going to get dirty anyway. What does it matter? They're going to get dirty anyway. Who cares if they're clean or not? They're just shoes. They're going to get dirty anyway. So therefore, it doesn't even really even matter, you know? You know, shoes, they're meant to, they're not meant to be all clean and that stuff. They're meant to be worn outside to protect your feet from rocks and stones and sticks and sharp objects on the ground and stuff. Glass bottles and broken glass and shit. You know, they're meant to protect your feet, not to keep clean. And he also said, oh, I wanted to keep these clean for my mom. What do you care what your mom thinks? What do you fucking care what your mom thinks? They're, they're, you're 18 years old. She should, you shouldn't let her tell you how you keep your stuff. Or, or you know what I mean? Seriously. You know, I hate... I hate neat shoe freaks. People who freak out if their shoes get all dirty, you know? Who cares? He should know every time he comes over, we always go to the baseball field and play baseball, so why would he wear shoes that he doesn't want to get dirty? He should have just wore shoes that he wouldn't mind getting dirty, you know? He knows we go to the baseball field every time he comes over. He shouldn't have worn those shoes. And we didn't go to the baseball field but then he changed his mind says you know what because I kept telling him who cares if your shoes get dirty you're gonna get dirty anyway and you know and then he decided maybe just to change his mind and then he had to go home his mom texted him he had to go home so yeah he had to go home I'm pissed off I want to play baseball I really want to play some baseball God damn it, he probably won't, he's not going to come over again for probably another week. I don't want to wait that long. I want to play baseball now. God damn it. I did a somewhat of a little video, and I don't know if I'll upload it or not. It's not really that, mainly we were just driving around. But, anyways, I'm just going to do this video. Because I said I'd probably do this video this week and a lot of people want me to do this rant, but... Now, I did a rant about this a couple years ago about Nickelodeon. A couple, two years ago in 2013, I'm going to find that video right now when I made that video. It's actually my highest viewed video. It's actually my highest viewed video. Uh, it is... The video is New Nickelodeon Sucks. It has 8,502 views. And it's actually, it's my number one highest viewed video. It was uploaded August 9th, 2013, but it has a lot of comments too. And I'm going to do this rant again because people want me to do another Nickelodeon rant. And I'm honestly, I'm going to do one because I also want to do it. Because Nickelodeon has changed. It has changed a lot since 2013. There's been a lot of new shitty garbage piece of shit shows that aren't funny, that are just plain old stupid. Now, I don't watch... I mean, I watch some of these Nickelodeon shows. I know I'm too old for it. I only watch like an episode or a couple episodes of each show just to see how bad it is so I could share with you guys. Not because I wa actually watch that shit. I'm too old for Nickelodeon. I only, usually I only turn on Nick Nickelodeon just to wait for Nick at Night shows. Because I only watch Nick at Night like Full House, George Lopez, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Friends, Everybody Loves Raymond. I, I watch Nick at Night shows like those. I don't watch the Nickelodeon kids shows. 
And Nick at Night starts at 7 o'clock, and I usually put on Nickelodeon at like 6.30. On weekends, it starts later, but... Uh, and some of these shows I've seen are just... They're just terrible. They are just horrible. I don't get why the... How people act... I know I feel bad for kids these days, because they gotta... They grow up... They're gonna... Growing up watching this shit... They just kids they they're gonna grow up when they grow up Nickelodeon's probably gonna be ten times worse than it is now and then kids are going to say that today's Nickelodeon like Henry Danger or the Thundermans or shows like that are classic shows and are real shows you know those aren't real. These shows aren't real. Real shows are from like the 90s to like my day at, of Nickelodeon. Like, you know, they were just really good shows when I was a kid watching Nickelodeon. I'm so lucky I, I watched, I was a kid and like, I wasn't a 90s Nickelodeon kid, but I was like an early two, a 2000s one. Nickelodeon was still good. I'd say it was good up until like 07 when iCarly or whatever came. But, you know, back in my day of Nickelodeon, they had really good shows. They had Spongebob, the, the good Spongebob, the Spongebob, like, I don't know if they still do Spongebob. I know they play them still on Nickelodeon, but I don't know if they still make the show, but... 2008 or 2009 is when Spongebob started sucking. The old Spongebob was good. The old Spongebob was good. The new modern ones are just cheesy. Um... The old Fairly Odd Parents with before Poof the Baby or whatever, I don't know, was good. They still play Fairly Odd Parents once in a while. Like, at like 6 in the morning is what I saw. Then maybe they play it later. I'll put, you know, again, I put Nickelodeon on at like 6.30 just to wait for Nick at night. They had Jimmy Neutron. That was a really good show. I love that show. And they don't play that no more? What the hell? And then they made a new show, Planet Sheen, which that show was a piece of shit. I don't think they play that show anymore. They have Rug Rugrats was another good show. Rugrats. I love that show. And then 05 or whatever, they made an all grown up. 04 or 05. I don't know what year. They made all grown up, which is Rugrats, but them grown up. Which that show was kind of stupid. Just why do you got to make a show about Rugrats when they're grown up? Who cares? I don't want to see that. The original Rugrats shows are good. What are their shows? My Life is a Teenage Robot. That's another good one. Danny Phantom. That's a really good one. Cat Dog's a good one. Basically, one side of the body is a cat head. Another side of the body is a dog head. I don't know where the hell the asshole is. Where the, the cat dog takes a shit. It must be in the middle. The butthole and the wiener or if it's a female vagina must be in the middle of the body or whatever because usually on the animal the you know the asshole come is at the end but there was that show in hey arnold doug Good show, Drake and Josh. They had that was a live action show. Drake and Josh was awesome. I love that show. And then it had the change. And now it's just here in 2015. It's horrible. It is terrible. And I'm gonna talk about some of these shows. I got some on a piece of paper. 2007, it started. Nick started sucking because that's when iCarly and True Jackson VP and whatever came, and that shit. I used to like iCarly. I don't know why. Now it's stupid. Uh, now I'm gonna talk about some of these shows that that are on here in 2015 that are horrible. What I'm gonna talk about is Henry Danger, and. That's one stupid show. I've seen a couple episodes of that, and it's just not funny. It's just 
Now the show is created by Dan Schneider, the same guy who created iCarly and that show and other shows like that. And the show is just not funny. It's basically a superhero show or whatever. It's basically a show of a 10 year old named Henry or whatever. Or not a 10, it's 13. I don't know. I don't fucking know how old he was. Um, it says he's 13 years old. And he becomes a sidekick of Captain Man, which Captain Man basically is the superhero. And basically, when I saw this show, it was just little kids and shit acting like adults. They act like they're adults when they're fucking kids and shit. You know, you guys are kids, you're not adults and shit. And they act like, you know... It's, and the, the show is just not funny. It's just plain old dumb and boring. Some of the characters are Henry, which is that 13-year-old kid, like I said. Um, it's played by Jace Norman. And there is another character is Ray Manchester, which is basically Captain Man. He's basically the superhero. With Looks like he's wearing sunglasses in the picture. Oh no. No, never mind. Looks like it from. Never mind. And there are other characters. There's Charlotte, which is played by Riley. Ro I don't know. Riley Downs or whatever. I don't know. And she's one of Henry's best friends. I think she's the black girl or whatever. And the. Kid with curly hair, I think, is Jasper, and it's Sean Ryan Fox, and then Piper Hart is played by Ela Anderson, and I think she is the she's the white girl or whatever with uh I don't know, but this show is just lame. It's just not funny. Yeah. This is a superhero show, and the Thundermans is another superhero show, or whatever. I've never seen the Thundermans, but it's another superhero show, and... You know... It's just so stupid. Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man, and a couple other superheroes are real superheroes. Those are real superheroes. The Thundermans and those superheroes suck and shit. Real superhero shows are Batman and Superman. Watch those. Don't watch this shit. If you want to watch a superhero show, you know, really. Thundermans and Henry Danger are lame. Dickie and Dawn is another fucking one. It's basically four quadruplets or whatever, which basically it's twins or whatever, but four, you know what I mean. Twins are two, triplets are three, quadruplets are four, and three of them are boys and one of them is girl. I think Dawn is the girl, and basically a stupid show of four ten-year-old quadruplets, Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. And Dawn struggles sharing and getting along with her brothers and whatever. That's what it says on the website I'm reading about it. And I saw a couple episodes of this and this show is so stupid. You know, he's four... And there's the dad or whatever. I think he's... The dad, like the bald guy. He's bald. And... You know, the show is just not funny. It's just so stupid. Stupid. And you hear the laugh track in the background. That's not even a real laugh track. It's just fa a fake laugh track because no one ever, because no one laughs at this show because it's not funny. It's just so stupid. And the theme song to this TV show sucks. The show is, I mean, the song, the theme song is so stupid. I'll, so, well, yeah, this show sucks, but the song sucks too. ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, uh, Motley Crue are way better than this stupid ass song and that shit. And it's created by Matt Flesh Fleck. 
Frankenstein or whatever. I don't know what the hell is up with these names and shit that I can't pronounce. You know, this just show is just not funny. I saw a stupid clip of this show. What I remember, I was like checking this show out or whatever a couple weeks ago, and basically there was this one clip. I guess two of them were like stuck in a box or whatever, and they were like, "Get your butt out of my face! Get your face out of my butt!" That's not even funny. That's just so stupid. It's not funny. What the hell? I mean, kids laugh at the stupidest things ever. I mean, then again, I shouldn't be talking because I kind of laugh at stupid things. I'm like, eight, I'm 19 and I laugh at stupid things that no one else would laugh at. So I really shouldn't be talking. But, you know, other than that, stupid. It's a stupid, boring, dumb, retarded show of four kids or whatever. And the laugh track is fake because they know the show is not funny. Because no one thinks this show is funny because it isn't. And it's just stupid. The theme song is stupid, like I said. It's by Doug Rockwell or whatever. I don't know. The show is just lame. Fuck this show. Oh, there, there. 100 things to do before high school. Now, this is a new show. They started, um, started airing, like, in 2014, and then, well, when I first saw this show, they started playing commercials that there was a new show called 100 Things to Do Before High School. I thought it was a movie at first. I thought it was one of those stupid, lame Nickelodeon movies. Turns out, they're doing an entire series of it. It's a TV show. What the fuck? And I have never watched that show, but I know it sucks because I've seen some sneak peeks and shit on the commercials, and it's, it just looks horrible. It's horrible by seeing the sneak peeks. It's, I know it's horrible. How do you know it's bad if you never watched it? Or, 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 or. Because I know it's bad. All Nickelodeon shows t these days are terrible and it is not funny. What other shows are there? What other shows? Tullia in the Kitchen. That's a really new show. They just started playing that like a couple weeks ago. It's basically a girl named Tullia or whatever. She like works in the kitchen or whatever at a restaurant. I don't know. Barely seen the show. Only one episode and... Remember, they played a couple. Said, no, that show's not funny either. That show's lame. That show's just lame. You know, Nickelodeon. I'm not gonna talk about all the shows. There are other stupid ass shows. But I'm not gonna talk about all of them. They all suck. Nickelodeon seriously needs to go back to how they were back in the day. Back in like the 2000s. 2007 is when it started sucking. Two, 19, the, whenever Nickelodeon began till 2006, was Nickelodeon was good. You know, bring back these old shows or whatever. Now kids today have to grow up with this piece of shit today's shows and they're missing out on good shows like Hey Arnold and Doug and Cat Dog and My Life is a Teen. Teenage Robot, Danny Phantom, Jimmy Neutron, Rugrats. I feel bad for kids today. They they don't even know what the hell those shows are. You know. I mean, stop making new shows. Just go keep just go back to the old Nickelodeon shows. Play all the old Nickelodeon shows, the classical ones. I mean, or if you want to create new shows, fine. Just make them how they were back then. Make shows like how they, like, they were back then. Listen, Nickelodeon has just gotten so stupid now. A lot of live action. I mean, there were some live action shows back then. And they were mainly cartoons. Now it's becoming all live action. Put, bring some more cartoons. Play more cartoons. They play like maybe a couple cartoons and that's it. We don't have that mechanism. Mm. 
<laughs> I don't know. I just hate these stupid ass shows like Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn and. Oh, you're just jealous because uh they are famous, they get all the fame, and you're not. No, I'm not jealous. What does jealousy even have to do about this? That's a, that's a, I really hate when people always say that you're jealous of something that you don't like because, you know, people always say that if you don't like something, it's because you're jealous. No! I don't like it because it's stupid. I'm not jealous of them. I don't even want to be a Nickelodeon star. I'm not jealous that they're famous and I'm not. I don't even care if I'm not famous. You know, stupid. That's the biggest, that's the stupidest insult people always come up with. No matter if you hate Justin Bieber, you hate One Direction, you hate these stupid Nickelodeon shows, you're just jealous because they got talent and they're famous and you don't. Bullshit, shut the fuck up with that stupid jealous shit. I'm not jealous. You know what's what's come what's what's up with TV these days? TV in general is just shitty these days. So many stupid reality TV shows and shitty live action shows that they come up with. And they're just terrible. TV these. I wonder how. Mm, I wonder how Nickelodeon's gonna be in another five years. Probably even worse. They're probably gonna have shows that are even worse than this. Shows that they have today. You know, even the old Nickelodeon logo is awesome. I can't really describe the logo, but this is the logo. Now the Nickelodeon logo today sucks ass. It's a, I hate this Nickelodeon logo they have today. It, it's stupid. No. Anyways, rest in peace, Nickelodeon. You were really, you had really good TV shows. Now you're just in hell. Nickelodeon's in hell now because they got stupid shows I mean, even though hell doesn't exist but you know what I mean rest in peace Nickelodeon from whatever whenever it began till 2006 if you don't like this video then that's too fucking bad I'm gonna speak out my opinion whether you like it or not it is the first amendment so if you don't like this video, then don't watch this video or else you're going to get offended and shit and then you're going to write stupid insults talking crap about my looks, saying I'm ugly, even though looks have nothing to do with, with this video. You're going to write other stupid insults. Oh, you're a fag. You're just jealous. Oh, you're ugly as hell. You're, you're, you're gay, even though it doesn't make me a homosexual by ranting on Nickelodeon, but you know what I mean, and Nickelodeon today is just horrible, and I have trouble speaking in this video, I'm sorry, I can't really, my brain's not really working that well, and we'll talk about more shows, but I don't want to make this video too long, because there are a lot of shows today that are terrible, and yeah, I wonder how Nickelodeon's going to be in another 10 years, probably even worse. But yeah, my point is, Nickelodeon today sucks ass, it's a piece of shit, and see you later guys, goodbye.